Okay, so Jace, watch out so you don't get run over. All right, so you look where you're going and just give her a pull and a kiss. Yeah, you need to be out there, Jace. everything. you keep walking she's like well she wants me to keep going and her feet will keep going like this okay so you need to whoa stop your feet and she'll stop too okay so kiss at her and start walking there you go good so go ahead and go all the way around and then take her in the middle of the arena who wants to ride first me okay all right <coughs> I guess, stop walking. Good girl. Yeah. So that's how much she puffed up. So we're going to tighten it to about four holes. Now we have it. Okay. So now we can get teacher. Good name for a horse or a girl. Mm-hmm. Especially a cow girl. Mm-hmm. Right turn. She's about Jesus' age. Turn her. Okay? 
concentrate on sitting and feeling her move. There you go. Hands forward towards her ears just a little. There you go. And just let her walk all the way around. So you can learn what the end is. So get up there. <clears throat> Michelle was saying when Isabella first started doing this, she said, Mom, I don't want to pick up the, the, the horse poo. <laughs> Michelle's like, Isabella, if you want to do horses, that's part of it. <laughs> but I guess she loves it. So you just want to keep your heels down and keep looking you do where it, you're the going. More it gets too, yeah. I'm sure. When you're riding your bike, you're always looking ahead. Okay? You're going into a mailbox, a car, a dog, whatever. Kind of getting used to this. Well, why don't you get up there so you can hear? Goofball. How'd you like to get out and go? Yeah. The, um, the day that I went, that I took JC out, we took JC out for her birthday. The horse that I was on, very responsive. The most responsive horse I've ever been on. I haven't been on a ton of horses, but of all the horses I've been on, he was the most responsive. He was fun. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like she's doing it reluctantly, though. Her head's down. <laughs> Yo, and this is actually how she's trained. This is a Western pleasure. Oh, okay. Dog chalk. Okay, walk. <laughs> you see what I'm saying, though? Mm hmm. Whatever. I'm feeling good enough, but. <laughs> I didn't know that. Okay. What? Then cows? Well, nobody rides a cow, hon. <laughs> no, she just kind of.
Okay, so kick your hands forward. You're releasing the brakes. forward. There. So you don't have to do a whole lot. The, the wall will turn her. And she's smart enough she's not going to run her head into it. Don't smile, Sadie. <laughs> He's concentrating, Dad. I know. He's focusing. generally do stuff like that anyways just to follow up to make sure that no plans have changed or you know. And I just realized I was going through and sending out emails and stuff and I was like, I don't have any information anymore. So I was like, well she's either gonna not come or she's gonna call or something. <laughs> or I'm gonna go to the wrong place. <laughs> so it wasn't a planned move, huh? Huh? Wasn't a planned no, move? End up being a good thing?
direction. Otherwise, she's just going to stop at the gate and stand there. Good job. Good. So hands in your starting position, forward, and just keep her a little closer to the fence, a little left rein, and then hands back in the middle. Oh, geez, geez. Comes up. Comes up. Like, like, watching her, like, But she is. Oh, yeah. So with her, a lot of times, like if I have kids that kind of are oversteers, I try to explain you don't need the reins at all. She does better on a loose rein, and I'll take the reins away completely. And they can see that she just bops along on the rail without a whole lot of input. Yeah. And then they're like, Oh, I don't have to do this the whole way around. And they can understand that she's pretty self-contained. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As a horse, she doesn't need a whole lot. We're gonna try a nice slow jog, okay? Are you ready? She's such a clown. So, no, just leave your ring. You don't need them. If you feel like you're gonna fall off, you can grab onto the horn of the saddle, but you should be fine. She goes very slow. Hot, hot. She does fall. There you go. So if you wanna grab the saddle, you can. Heels down, toes up. Look at that. See, you don't need to steer, you don't need to pull, you don't need to do anything. And then just sort of, whoa. Look at that, she stopped. Okay, she understands the word whoa. Pretty cool, huh? All right. She's a riding right neighborhood over here. Mm -hmm. Good. All right, so I want to use her whoa. Whoa. She could, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. She'd be good at it too, more. and probably enjoy it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and she's right, got the kisses? facility for it too. Powder? There you go. What's her name? Good. Talk to the sea. Chris. Oh, no. Don't be an oversteerer. An oversteerer. I call it a micromanager. <laughs> Good. You try to keep your hands nice and still. Bring your toes up. There you go. Very short for a little long. Go left and right. Other left. There you go. And forward. Whoa. Whoa. Good. All right. So now I want you to turn her towards me. Pull to your hip, your right hand, and then go back to the rail. We're going to go the other direction. Hands in the middle again. There you go. Perfect. Left, 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 left. There you go. 
comes out. Good. That's really good position right there. One of my students, they made me a t-shirt that said, um, heels down, eyes up, and your other left. What does that mean? And your other left. I, I say go left, and the kids go right, and then oh, your oh. other left. <laughs> Got it. Down, How long have you been teaching? How old am I? Um, I think I'm 23 years. Wow. Really? Yeah. These kinds of classes to kids or just All anybody? Yeah, I, I've taught bull riders how to jump horses. Where were you brought up here? Oregon. We're in Oregon. Portland. I'm from Longview, Washington. Oh, are you really? Mm -hmm. I grew up in Lake Oswego. Oh, that's a neat town. Yeah, it's Lake Oswego. Fun. Yeah. Kind of an interesting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've only gone through there a few times, so it's not long enough really to get nice. to know the people. I like how they, you know, everything. Like, you know, they have the hanging baskets going down the street. for me too.